In this video, we're going to take a look at how to download a course roster uh, from Canvas. So you'll open a Canvas course and in the course navigation, you will look for the link that says new analytics. If you do not see that in the course app navigation menu, then you will need to scroll down, select settings, then the navigation tab at the top. And from there, you will find new analytics in the section at the bottom. You will select the three little dots and choose to enable it. Once you've changed and you've added it, so it's showing in the list at the top of the page, you will then scroll down and select save. At that point, you will then be able to select on new analytics. And once you're on the new analytics page, you will select reports. And here you are able to run some different reports. For this, we're gonna run the report for class roster. So we're gonna select run report. It will tell you how many results. This should be the same number as the number of students in the course. You will select run report. This will download what is called a CSV file. When you select it, it'll open up in Excel. You can then format it if you would like by clicking in this top left corner next to um, column A. And then you can drag one of the lines between the columns to actually make the columns a little bit bigger. You can go ahead and delete the columns that you don't need. So if you just need the roster column with the student name, great. You can go ahead and delete the rest. Once you have the information that you need. So I'm going to select delete. I just want the list of students' names. I am going to come up here to file and select save as. I am going to choose if I don't see my G suite or my drive, I'm going to select browse. I'm going to find my Google file stream um, drive here on the side, and then I'm gonna select my drive. I can pick whatever um, option I want to use, whatever folder. I can change the tile, title, but then where it says save as type, you want to select that and save it as an Excel workbook. So down here now it should say Excel workbook. Select save and it is now in your G Suite. You can continue working on it as an Excel file. However, if you then go to what's called My Drive, um, your Google Drive on the web, you will be able to find then this document and you can convert it to a Google slide, which makes it easier for um, viewing privileges and sh sharing with students. So if you select the roster and you can choose open with and it'll say Google Sheets. 
it will convert this into a Google Sheet. The important part of this is once you do convert it into a Google Sheet, it will give you the ability to share. It will also give you the ability to actually save it as a Google Sheet. Because even though you are viewing it here as a Google Sheet, it still technically is a Microsoft Excel format. One thing to keep in mind when you go to share, be careful you are not sharing confidential student information, such as the student's full name, the student's emails. Because once you select share and you actually create the shareable link, it shares with everyone in the domain. So everyone in the Edmonds School District has access to that link. Or it shares with everyone in the world with the link if you um, put that as a choice. So please be careful with sharing rights. If it does have student information on it that you need to share, with another colleague, please make sure you actually type the name of the people in the box that you want to share it with. That's the basics of creating a class roster um, in Canvas.